that. <laughs> oh, my God. That was awful. Absolutely awful. What we'll a get... fat dope she looks like. Fishing we'll... for an Emmy. We'll get that uh, We'll get that clip on the air in a second, but uh, I guess Rosie O'Donnell's in a, in a Hallmark movie where she plays... <laughs> She plays a mentally challenged adult. She plays a retard riding the bus with my sister. Look at how she <laughs> Oh, It's like a Forrest Gump thing where they're on the bench yep. together. On the park bench. She's looking up. Why do retards always sit on park benches? <laughs> you know, how about doing something else that retarded people do? Maybe shitting your pants in front of family members and friends. How about that for the little cover? <laughs> We just heard a little clip on the Tony Danza show oh. of uh, Rosie. Oh, look, in this one, she's wearing one pink card. sneaker and one blue. Aww. Aww. It's so cute and innocent. She's a little Dummy. confused. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> dresses herself because she's self-sufficient. She can't tell the difference. Yeah. Uh, we got the Tony Danza clips from yesterday. Okay. We ended the show listening in on Tony Danza and Rosie talking. Oh. And we got the uh, just a great clip from her new Hallmark movie Ooh. coming up uh, this Sunday. Ooh, your homework assignment for this show is to watch it so you can have fun with us on the phones, because we are gonna rip it apart. <laughs> I, I can't imagine what clips we're gonna have to choose from where we go. Well, pick this one, but not this one. It's gonna be every second of dialogue that she does as a retard that we are gonna want to listen to. Well, we could do uh, just a four-hour yeah. show on the movie. That's it. Just play the movie, and it's going to be Mystery Science Theater. Oh, that's uh, what we should gonna, do. We're just going to comment <laughs> on the movie. That's what we should do. <laughs> All right, when we get back, we got the clips from Rosie's new movie, where yeah. she plays a retard. Let's and, be open-minded, and guys. And talking about it. Yeah. Let, let's. You're right, Jimmy. Why don't we, uh, you want to do the Rosie O'Donnell clips? Yeah. Oh, of course. From Tony Danza yesterday? Of course. There's an ad right here with her picture, riding the bus with my sister, and that it's just just It makes me angry how it, awful it, it is. The ad itself is a Forrest Gump-looking rip-off <laughs> thing. Yeah. They have her sitting on a park bench, a bus bench, whatever it is, with the, like, clouds in the background, the same type of Forrest Gump look. I guess she's going for her Emmy. Is that what this is? I was hoping for an Emmy. Anybody that plays a retard on a TV movie is really gunning for that Emmy. Yep. Had her on Tony Danza yesterday. Somebody on one of the message boards um, popped up a website also. She has a photo website. You know how people have... Um, Photo websites, you can post your pictures of your vacations or family get-togethers or whatever it is. She has one of those. And uh, I, I went to it, and it's just her, like, if one of her uh, girlfriend there and her laying in bed together. Uh. Like a picture of a girlfriend's face looking all like they just woke up in the morning. Picture of Rosie's face hey, on man. the pillow. Rosie's a big, fat mess, but she did well for herself. Yeah, she didn't look that bad at all. I, I mean, her chick. I mean, if you're going to yeah. be a, you know, a lesbian, mm -hmm. I mean, she did all right, she man. She did all right. And then she's got her pictures of her kids on vacation. It's like this. She's just got this need, I guess, to open her life up to the public like that. Like out of nowhere, all of a sudden, she came out of the closet. Now everything. Look at these pictures. They're just like anyone's pictures that would be online. What kind of an idiot would put their pictures all over the? And she writes all <laughs> personal stuff in her blog. Yeah, right. Yeah. Whoa. Who, what kind of idiot would do that? <laughs> <laughs> giving her props. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's hear a little more. What is this? Britney Spears? <laughs> no, not Britney. I'm called back. And you're a Dolpho and you're new. How do you know my name? You're new. Because I know everything. <laughs> Listen, you had to stop on Carlton Street. Carlton's not a bus stop. Oh, listen, I had me. You have to stop there because Miss Pack has a swollen up leg and she has to go to the doctor at 11. So stop on Calder Street, Rudolfo, and listen to me because I only tell you two times. That's it. Then you're on your own. <sighs> Morning, Mr. Breakfast! <laughs> Can I have that Mr. T cereal? Okay! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, pity the poor fool! Don't eat my cereal! <laughs> oh, 
God damn it, that's funny. Clip. <laughs> Wait, I gotta compare the two. You have to stop. <laughs> 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 What a mess! It's the same. She's doing Pee Wee. I would love to talk to the crew of this movie. By the way, that scene was hysterical in the movie. Wait, doing the, the Mr. T cereal. I pity the fool. <laughs> play that clip again, and then we'll play the Rosie, the first part of the Rosie clip. Morning, that's the breakfast. <laughs> Can I have that Mr. T cereal? Okay. <laughs> I pity the poor fool. Don't eat my cereal. <laughs> What is this, Britney Spears? <laughs> no, not Britney. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a so and you're new. How do you know my name? You're new, because I know everything. <laughs> listen, oh. you have to stop on Carlton Street. Carlton's not a bus stop. Oh, listen, to Henry. You have to stop there because Miss Pack has a swollen up leg and she has to go to the doctor at 11. So stop on Carlton Street, Rudolfo, and listen to me because I only tell you two times. That's it. Then you're on your own. Morning, that's the breakfast. <laughs> Can I have that Mr. Cheese cereal? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I pity the poor fool. Don't eat my cereal. <laughs> <laughs> great. Her great acting job as a retard is Pee Wee Herman. She's ripping off Pee Wee. Hoo -hoo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bus going to stop? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh my god. Look who's on the bus! Cowboy Curtis! Uh, hi, Cowboy Curtis! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Carl! Captain Carl! Here comes Missy Vaughn, Captain Carl! <laughs> ah, unbelievable. It's Pee Wee. It's Pee Wee Herman! I bet you, too. I, I haven't seen the clip that she's not getting on a short bus. No. It's regular. No, no, it's a regular, regular bus. Yeah, it's a regular like city bus. Oh, city bus. Okay, mm -hmm. I, was, I wasn't sure if it was she was getting picked up for school or something. Oh my god! I do like the fact that the driver scolds her. Yeah, like, it's not a stop. Not a bus stop, you tard. That would be worth it if everyone in the movie talked to her like that, no matter what she said. She's no, it's nasty. not. <laughs> no, it's not, dummy. <laughs> yeah. Good try. I'm sure you'd have that little chit chat if that happened in New York City with one of these New York City bus oh, drivers. Yeah. I'm sure he would be just as polite. You know what you'd hear? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up and sit down. I'm we late. have to stop. We have to stop at the other stop. Is it? No, we did. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> sit in your seat, or I'll throw your dumb ass off. <laughs> right. There's no chit chatting going on. Sitting and chatting. Shut up. You and your fat stretch Armstrong legs. <laughs> No bend marks. No bend marks at all. <laughs> Not even a dimple. Uh, so what do you think is going to happen to Rosie in this movie? We should take bets. Oh, how does it, uh, how does you, it go? You know, there's going to be that dramatic moment where maybe she gets lost or something, and now she's right. all confused looking at the big building. That's <laughs> definitely going to be yeah. a scene where she gets lost. Gets lost, starts looking at the big buildings, and... And eventually, I bet you they find her at the end, and everything's going to be okay. Yeah. I think that's just a sub thing. And then, I think then the whole thing is going to be the fact that um, somebody will think that she's not capable of doing something. Maybe even her sister will think that there's some kind of shortcomings because of her being a retard. But then she will show everybody that she is indeed capable and inspire people. I think what's going to happen is that Rosie doesn't know how to express herself. And they're going to wonder through the whole movie, why does she buy tacos and then just rub her face in them and go, <laughs> It's going to be a story of Maybe the other sister, Annie McDowell, yeah. has some kind of uh, illness. Ah, maybe. Mm. Oh, they don't work. No, you're on. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'm trying to use the phone! <laughs> <laughs> That's when she's at a payphone, I think. Oh, these are more clips of yeah. Rosie. Oh, okay. Yeah, these I, are more clips. I thought we only had the one. And then uh, I guess she gets into an exchange about um, who the bus driver is, and, and the bus driver doesn't know who she is. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> well, that makes sense. I meant to do that. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Here you go. Okay! <laughs> and uh, she has some fun. In the movie, too. <laughs> <laughs> then she can't really hear the bus driver, I guess, at one point. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right.
right, now, I cannot wait to uh, see this dude, movie, by I the way. I can't yeah. wait for this show. For I, how I'm bashing this, cannot wait to see it. I just it. want to know what the conflict's going to be. There's going to be some stupid conflict. Yeah. Hmm. Dumb conflict. Yeah. All right, can't let's... just be her riding the bus the whole movie, can it? No. That would be perfect. I hope there's a the, the little problem. I hope there's something. Does she do a crying scene, you think? You think there's a retarded crying scene in it? No, but I'm sure Bob Kelly will be crying when he oh, watches yeah. the movie. <laughs> Him and his bum leg. Jesus. That's right. You, you know, it's so sweet, the siblings, and I love that. You blubbering gimp will be on the couch <laughs> eating ho-hos, just <laughs> going through tissues. We're halfway through this. this you know, Dennis Hopper's going to call. There's a retard on the bus. If you don't hand over the money, I'll have her talk until everybody kills himself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eric from Staten Island. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, I got a sneak peek of the movie. The subplot is the bus gets a flat tire, and Rosie, with her retard strength, picks up the bus because <laughs> she didn't have a jack. <laughs> Watch it out. <laughs> with that retard strength. <laughs> Uh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this bit is picking up momentum, boys and girls. <laughs> oh. uh, let's go to Chris. Hey, Chris, yeah. you're on the Opie and Anthony program. Hey, guys, doing? Uh, we're having a good time today. I hope someone's enjoying this crap. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you what, man. The retard stuff is not funny, but I was laughing my ass off. That is some funny shit right there. Oh, all right. We turned you around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get a load of retard over there. <laughs> Tom, Tom. Yes, honey. You know we were talking yesterday. Yes, we were. Do you know about periods? Yes. What about periods? Do you have periods? Yes. All women have periods. Tell me what happens. Blood from inside of my body comes outside from an opening between my legs. Do you have a question, Jill? Yes. I want to know if Susie has periods. Susie? Yes, Mom? Jill wants to know something. We want Jill. Susie, do you have periods? Do I have periods? Jill, all women have periods about every four weeks for three or four days. When I'm on my period, blood from inside of my body comes outside from an opening between my legs. <laughs> well, Susie, what about my teacher? Does Miss Jones have periods? Yes, Jill, your teacher, Mrs. Jones, does have periods. <laughs> All women have periods about every four weeks for three or four days. Well, well. <laughs> That's from the Tradables Audio, yes. Good morning, Mr. Tampon. <laughs> <laughs> you should see. Uh, I, I, did you uh, get a, a chance to watch the I clip of the period? I still have not video? seen the video. It's up I on foundingmusic.com, right? who the little girl in this, the retarded little girl that they're teaching look like, and then I realized, because I watched Close Encounters, like one of the aliens that come <laughs> off of the ship, yeah. her face has that same look. Okay. And uh, the older sister is telling her about periods, pulls down her pants, <laughs> and shows this used <laughs> pad, this big old 50s pad. Uh, you, oh. can, you can get to the video clips by going to opianthony.com. Yes. I'm a little distracted because the listeners are taking over the bed slightly here. Uh -huh. Joe in Jersey. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, boys. Hey. My favorite part of the movie is when Eric Logan takes her to his barber. <laughs> Punching out. Oh, God damn. Oh, over the fence with that one. Uh, the uh, listeners are taking over, Anthony. Let's go to Tom uh, on Long Island. Go ahead, Tom. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Jimmy, love you. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I heard the uh, sequel to this takes place in Israel, and Rosie's wearing a big puffy coat on the bus. Punch it out, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Duke in Jersey. What's up, Duke? Duke? Yes, I'm here. What's up, Duke? Oh, I was just going to say that uh, Rosie has to go and rent out all of Giovanni Ribisi's movies to research her retard role. Uh, ah. Yes, Giovanni Ribisi. Rosie, extraordinaire. All right. Uh, I just think we should watch where the jokes go. I think that mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's not target the mentally challenged. I I agree with you. Yeah. Let's take the high road. Yeah. All right. I got. I like how he actually, even though it's radio, he puts the serious face on. You know, guys, like, there's not even a, a hint of a smile. I'm a method actor. He's I can't acting. Help it. He really has to get into the character. You know. All right. 
let me really think that I don't want to make jokes about this. All right, all right! I'll wait! Okay! There right. was uh, Rosie O'Donnell. I, I gotta admit, I took a peek at the fam oh. Family Guy. Ugh. It was not just an awful movie because uh, of, of the content and Rosie O'Donnell being a horrible actress and just running through as a parody of a retarded person. It, the movie itself, taken just as a movie, was so bad. It was so disjointed and there, it, cliches left and right. They kept throwing in these little things that, that lasted for a second that were supposed to make you think about something, I guess. I don't know. There was one part where they, they tried to get into this little story of this pervert that drives around and gives Rosie O'Donnell's retard character a stuffed animal in the car and goes, here you go, and he looks all ratty, and he pulls up slowly as she's walking on the sidewalk, and she grabs the stuffed animal and then walks a little like, oh, no, and puts it in the, uh, in the garbage and goes, that guy always tries to give me things. And, and then that was it. Dude, it lasted for like five seconds. Like, oh, the retards have to watch for the perverts. Yes, okay, oh, yeah. I understand where they were going. Because that's, uh, that's what's happening out there. Yeah, what, yeah. what is the pervert retarded to? When you looked at I think that you're missing the message, Anthony. Yeah, the what message was it? there, that's the message to the parents, where if you have one of these, this is what you should do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Walk right outside, lift the lid. <laughs> Toss it in the garbage. But they tried little things like that, like they were trying to make these points... But they were covered so quickly, like, okay, let's cover the uh, pervert trying to pick her up. All right, let's get the mean, intolerant people on the bus. Like, she gets on the bus, and, and there's uh, the bus drivers, which are all, every one of them, very tolerant, very nice to her, very understanding. And then a couple of passengers that, as viewers, you're supposed to hate. Because they're like, what is she doing on this bus? She doesn't have the proper pass. She's annoying. And they're saying all this out loud, like no one would ever speak this shit. You say it under your breath, and you, you kick them while they're not looking. <laughs> things like fun, things like that. Pinch their side fat. Yeah. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> and then one of the most unrealistic parts of the movie, when uh, somebody uh, getting on the bus needed an, a nickel and didn't have a nickel, and a black gentleman uh, actually gave a nickel. Oh, that was, I, I saw that scene. That I'm was, like, stop it. That was Rosie's sister there. He looked like a thug. And he looked like a thug, but he's very charitable. Well, then she tries to give him a dollar, and he's like, yeah. yo, lady, you can't buy anything for five cents uh -huh. nowadays. Uh-huh. Something uh -huh. like that. And yeah. then there was one intolerant black woman. Uh, Rosie gets on the bus, and she starts making retard faces uh, at these uh, two black children that are sitting there. And the uh, black woman uh, uh, saw that the, child was making, uh, the children were making faces back, and she kind of takes them by the hands and uh, moved her seat. She went, uh, she went to the back of the bus, <laughs> which <laughs> somebody on Whack Bag right at when it happened wrote, wow, I guess old habits die young. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Old like, habits quickly. die hard. Oh, I suck. But apparently... <laughs> oh, die young. What? What, what's your favorite song? Only the oh. good die hard? Only the good <laughs> die hard. Oh, what a tool. I stink. Now we know what you meant. Uh, yes. Yeah. So did I. Fortunately, it came out of my mouth like diarrhea. That's all right. Jim, Jim and Philly thought the movie wasn't that bad. Jim? What? Yes. Hey, Jim. All right. Yeah, I, I like you very much. Yeah, I'm a faggot. Yeah. Hi, Jimmy. I bought your new CD. It's pretty good. Thank you very much. Why are you breathing like you just ate it? Oh. Because I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's honest. Well, there goes, there goes that question. Wait, you like the movie there, Jim? Yes, I do. I had a retarded sister, and it brought back a lot of things. Did she ride the bus? That's terrific. That's terrific. No. So it brought back a lot of what? Like a lot of memories? A lot of bad... Oh, yeah, a lot of bad... My brother and I were constantly in fights, uh, you know, protecting her, and, you know, because people would make fun of her. And that shit. seemed very unrealistic. Yeah, what would they say to your what sister? What would they say to her? Uh, a lot, you know, hey, you fucking retard. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you <know>. Okay! <laughs> yeah. But she didn't talk like fucking Pee Wee Herman. No? <laughs> nah. Is she, she still, or, is she she still like around? Pee Wee Herman, but she, no, nah, she died when she was 26. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yes. Oh, you what, that, that, you guys can't, that's, that's not cool, man. That's what what did she pass away from? Uh, well, they said natural causes, but I suspect it was sleep apnea. <laughs> Why a lot of uh, retarded people have the sleep apnea? 
Oh. Well, she was heavy, too, and I have sleep apnea because I'm a very heavy person. I thought it might have been that big, down. thick tongue getting in the way while she was oh, sleeping. Oh, God. That uh, could have been. She ain't been. heavy. She's my retarded <laughs> sister. <laughs> That's true. Very, very, and I do drive a bus in Philadelphia, and we do get a lot of retarded. You do? Are you, very, are you the tolerant bus driver? Um, sometimes, sometimes not. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> When they stand up in the bus and they start fucking hollering and screaming, you know, you got to kind of put it in. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's great. That's, this guy that's had what you a sister. Deal with. A, he had a you know, sister I mean, that was I, retarded. <laughs> He's not tolerant. You just want to get through your day driving the bus and you you get this in the back. <laughs> Make sure we stop at that other bus stop. <laughs> but the one truth in the, in the story was is a lot of them that get on do know everything there is to know about buses, bus lines, and everything. Yeah, that's a, quite a resume fun. stuffer. Great. <laughs> yeah, well, well they, most of them don't work, or they do menial jobs for the IRS. Why do they, why do they choose? Wait, 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 who do they work for? Uh, I get a lot of them that work for the IRS, International Revenue Service. International Revenue Service. <laughs> did you say the International <laughs> Revenue <laughs> Service? I, did. I deserved the car crash on of that. Of course you did. That was a bus crash because the A... Retards working for the IRS was the joke, and international, they don't tax us in Greece and Europe and here. It's internal, sir. The International <laughs> Revenue Service. All right, well, Jim liked the movie. Yeah, and I appreciate you touring on me. All right, Jim. Bye, Jim. Jim has a... Have a good one, guys. See you know what I like? I like those Die Young movies. The three that came out, <laughs> Bruce Willis. Old habits die young. Oh, an ass. All right, here we go. God. Riding the bus with my sister. <laughs> What else were you going to say about this movie? Uh, a lot. Another thing that was going on during the whole thing, and I don't know if this was just part of Rosie's contract or the character was supposed to be like this. She was eating in every scene, eating in every single scene, and uh, she was unhealthy. She went to the doctor, and the doctor told her she's overweight and stuff. And somebody pointed out uh, on the message board that um, this woman is, this doctor is bashing Rosie's character. Yet it's still Rosie that she's telling is unhealthy. The only difference is this uh, uh, retarded character didn't wash her hair. That was like the only difference between the retard and Rosie. So th this woman saying that how unhealthy and fat Rosie is as the retard. Meanwhile, she didn't have padding on or anything. She's just fat. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so they're pounding her. That's awesome. Yeah, fat clay legs with no bend marks. Oh. <laughs> and you know, I know it's very you know hack as, as a, a, a comics to talk of the big head gag. Yeah, hey, big head. That's a big head. You know, but you got, her head is giant. She has this that big fat head. And at one point, she was getting a. Uh, a hairstyle. Her hairstyle, her sister took her, and they formed her curly locks into a perfect mullet. <laughs> Could not possibly have made her look more retarded. You know who should cut her hair? David Ferry and Clay Shaw. Oh, oh. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I, I got JFK. <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> Didn't really go over well, though. Uh, All right. You want to play some clips, Ann? He didn't say die young. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did. <laughs> Here's Rosie's character on the phone, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to use the phone! No, that's Pee Wee. Yes, Daddy. Hi, honey. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay because I'm the sheriff. Okay. Yeah. You have to take me to Super Save tomorrow because I have a sale. Okay, I'm going to pick you up at 6? Yeah, 6.30. I love you. I have to go. I have to go catch a bus. <laughs> oh, oh. I have to go catch a bus. <laughs> oh, you are a bus, you pig. <laughs> okay. Why are you so tolerant of retard? I'm the sheriff. No, you're not, stupid. <laughs> I'm the sheriff. Somebody had the storyline all wrong, also. They told us that at the end, she gets a bum leg yeah, yeah. and has to live with them. And then I realized that was the storyline of Bill. <laughs> Somebody was uh, uh, trying to fool us. Oh, okay. That was the storyline of uh, old Bill. Remember we don't have our Mickey Bill Rooney clips. Played a retard. We have to get the Bill clips. It was, I had a bad leg, and I have to live with Barry. 
And uh, that's what happened. He had a bum leg. He would have had to go back to the home. <laughs> oh, okay. So he lived with... Uh, oh, someone got one past that, huh? I know. I didn't realize it until last night when I'm like, hey, wait, it didn't end like that. That's one of our favorite comedies. Of course it is. How did it end? I didn't see it. Well, it ended uh, uh, the sister... Well, the, the father that she's talking to on the phone, he dies. He winds up dying. And uh, now she, he took care of Rosie's character um, for the most part. Rosie lived alone, but I guess he uh, helped her out, whatever. So now the sister who is a very successful career woman, has to now come and kind of take care of her a little bit and uh, leave her job for a while. And Ugh. she winds up breaking up with her fiancé because uh, uh, of the problem with the sister. And Yeah, that would happen in real life. Yeah. Of course. Because She's uh, damn it! <laughs> Sorry. And uh, it's, it's now the, the movie is pretty much the sister trying to get a better understanding of her retarded sister because they haven't been together in, in years. She's been busy career girl, you know. Doesn't even acknowledge she's got this retard uh, for a sister. What's there to understand? Nothing. This movie was so shallow they can't and even, had nothing to it. They can't even watch the same TV programs. So they yeah. drive on the bus together, and then Rosie tries hooking her up with the bus drivers. Ugh. This is my sister, and she uh, broke up with her boyfriend, and she reads books, and she... Oh, and, it's, and she just kind of smiles like it's okay. Instead of slapping her in the face and telling her to shut up like any normal human would do. Should have pinched the back of her arm and just said, shut up. Yes, shut up. Ow! <laughs> Here's the argument on the stairs, Anthony. What was this about? Um, I don't know. They, 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 I All couldn't right. even understand the movie. All right. I was a retard watching it. <laughs> what do you think you are, a hippopotamus? The way you clomp down the steps every morning? Some people are still sleeping! <laughs> Not you. You're not sleeping. You're complaining. That's what you're doing. You're the hippopotamus. Yeah, that was her walking downstairs. Uh, wow, there's a lot, a lot of fat of jokes in this movie, huh? Well, yeah. Well, she's fat. Mm. Yeah, big black woman is yelling at her for Good. clomping down the stairs. Every day you are first person on my bus. Yeah. To kill somebody to get on first. I wouldn't. I wouldn't kill. It's got no place to go. Just rides around all day. So, it's a free country, I'm a person, I buy my bus pass for 40 bucks, and I'm first always, so that's why I'm first. Yeah, you're doing it on the government dole. Why don't you do something useful in your life? Okay, Henry. Where is Beth going today? I'm going to go to Alma, and then I'm going to catch a bus with Rick. Ah, Rick is your new favorite. Yeah, because he has a, he has a green card, he's cute. <laughs> a green Mustang, very classy. Yeah. Oh, I think he's going to take me for a ride in it. What about your boyfriend? What about Jesse? Jesse's delicious. He's going to take me today to get a new toilet seat because mine got broken and it was sliding. So I would fall off of it like, whoa. Fat ass sitting on it. Fat, retarded ass broke the toilet seat. Why did somebody cut Henry off? I really liked him. <laughs> <laughs> Henry was telling it like it is. She, um, she had a boyfriend, by the way. Mm -hmm. She had a boyfriend, Jesse who was this big, retarded black guy. So she, um... And apparently they were having sex and everything. Was he saying camo? Camo. Camo with glass dildos. <laughs> <laughs> camo. Yeah, that was another, you know, this whole thing was just full of this politically correct drivel. Just awfulness. Like the people in the bus, the angry people, you know. Why don't you get a job instead of being on the government dole? And you're supposed to look over and go, yeah. That person's mean and awful. Oh, and it's like every two seconds these little things were popping up. The intolerant gang of white guys that beat up the black, uh, that were trying to beat up the bl her black boyfriend on of the course. bicycle. And he knows Taekwondo. The yeah, the Rosie's retarded black uh, boyfriend. So he and he's got ass. the retard strength, too. Yeah, he had the retard strength. Oof. And gotta he be, kicked ass. Got to be kind of stupid to take on a guy like yeah. that. People started uh, uh, getting ready to attack him, and Rosie goes, It's getting hot in here! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> and he ran over in his taekwondo duds. <laughs> they criticized her, and he went, You motherfucker! <laughs> Chris on Long Island. Chris. What's up, fellas? Hey. Don't you think that, uh, that Rosie sounds like Bonnie Gumble from The Simpsons? <laughs> All right, that yeah, too. Hey, that's good. Sometimes it's Pee Wee. Oh, sometimes it's Bonnie. <laughs> it's just minus the butt, right? <laughs> that's good. The worst part of it is I was only able to whack my bag twice during that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. Very uh, good. The guy had a really good Why? call. So wait, not only was Rosie a retard, but she was in... Oh, yeah, oh, oh. 
Oh, a two-time disappointer of the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Father's yeah. like, it just couldn't get any worse. Daddy, meat. I stand corrected. <laughs> oh, hey, it can. <laughs> That's nice. And both races will be destroyed. They'll create a mongrel race. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's great. Uh, Andy McDowell was the sister. Yes. She was the sister. And uh, I guess the beginning shot, the opening shot of the movie was pretty good. She's kind of laying back on the bed, and her nips mm, were showing through the nice, sweater. Yeah. So that, that was like the best part of the movie. I'm uh, my savior. <laughs> I'm not your savior. I'm just Beth. Oh, cool wow. Beth. <laughs> Beth, my girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, it's boring clothes. What am I scaring you? Want me to scare you? Go, go, go! Yeah. Pay her no mind. It's a harmless retard. Just don't make eye contact. I'm hearing you! <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, is that the best line ever? <laughs> Another in intolerant person on the bus. <laughs> Meanwhile, to me, those are the best people so oh, far. Of course. Hendry and those two. Hendry. <laughs> an intolerant person. It's just a harmless retard. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> oh, Big wow. dummy with panda legs. <laughs> That's what she has. Legs like a fat white panda. She should be tugging a, a windbreaker through a cage. <laughs> fat whore. Panda. I'm hearing you! <laughs> Bye. Bye. When are you going to take me for a ride in your car or a green car with my caseworker? Oh, Olivia, huh? Yeah, it's Olivia. She's pretty and she's nice. Oh, that's a house where me and Eugene live. I think he's a jerk. You think he's a jerk, Rick? <laughs> I don't think he's a jerk. I think he's a little impatient. Yeah, well, he put up that sign in the bathroom that says only employees can use it. That didn't stop you, though, did it? No, because I'm a person and it's just a bathroom. If I use it, I don't think I'm hurting anybody. Yeah, that's great. Employees work all day. Sometimes I go in there. I don't have to go to the bathroom just to wash my hands and make them mad. <laughs> <laughs> just to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> How stupid can one person be? <laughs> Sometimes I just wash my hands. <laughs> oh, you work hard, and that. Dummy walks in and takes one of her retard dumps. There's oh. gum and pennies in it. <laughs> <laughs> Little shards of glass and fur. Gum and pennies. That was part part of the movie was uh, that she ate everything. Which is good for Rosie O'Donnell, but as a kid, they they did a lot of flashbacks where they showed her as a little kid, which is great for the for the kid's image as an actress. You know, you're really good. Uh, I think you can play a fat retard. Here you go. You're the fat retarded girl, and she was eating everything. She was outside um, eating dirt. They had her eating dirt. They had her eating paint. The paint. She's trying to do a little painting, and she was eating the paint. And uh, that's uh, what Rosie grew into, somebody that just... Oh, my God. The inside of the toilet Every... looks like Dreyfus's living room in Close Encounters. <laughs> this means something. <laughs> I've got a big... There's a mountain in my toilet. I don't know. Maybe if I put some lines in the side, it'll ring a bell. <laughs> be realistic, Rick. <laughs> be, be open your eyeballs, and you can see that he's a little bit of a jerk. <laughs> oh, Chanel, you're growing. Yeah, I'm big as a truck. Oh, sit here, sit here. You want a few little kick? Pregnant woman. Hold on. Go ahead. Put your hands on my tummy. He's moving all over the place. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, Rick. Rick, you want to touch that? I'm driving here, Beth. Yeah. Yeah, I have something to show you. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh. 
said that my niece and my nephew, Alex and Maddie. Adorable. Yeah, I love them so much. I never met them, but my my brother says going to bring them over, Bobby. Sorry. They're cute. <laughs> They're so yeah, cute. Yeah, thank you. Is the pregnant woman patting her own stomach and looking at the retard and then looking up going, please, God, <laughs> please, <laughs> please. <laughs> Hey, Rick, what are you doing? Stop singing that song. It's going to get you fired. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, ah. Wow. Man. Okay, Jesse, here they are. I like the fishies. What do you like? Uh... This this one this one this one so retarded. Boyfriend. Oh, but Jesse, that one's ugly. Nobody wants to sit on that. You know me, I'm fussy. Yeah, uh, we need some help. Okay, uh, uh, can we have assistance, please? <laughs> Row number one for toilet seat. <laughs> Hello, toilet seat assistance and row number one. Thank you. Okay. Who was this joint anyway? <laughs> well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, we. Uh, She's yeah, atrocious. and um, sweet corn smile from Syracuse. Hmm. Rosie sounds like the Saturday Night Live skit Amy Poehler does as a little girl. Yeah, wreck, 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 wreck. Hey, over here! <laughs> oh, she is awful. Oh, this is great. It is so bad. It's it's such a bad. You can't get over the put on retard that she's doing. This over-the-top bad... That's what I say! Oh, it's horrible. So far, Henry and those other two guys are my favorite characters Henry. on television. Henry. It sounds like the Cookie Monster a little bit, too. <laughs> <laughs> little she bit. is for chromosome, <laughs> which I do not have. <laughs> <laughs> Today's show is sponsored by the letter U. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess uh, this is where the movie gets very dramatic, Anthony. The father has a heart attack. Hangers are more for just than hanging your clothes. <laughs> Hangers are used for things other than just hanging your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> The father has a heart attack? Yes, this is where the father uh, dies. I guess they have to call up uh, Rosie, and she runs to the hospital, and it's trying to be a touching scene, and it was nothing but humor. <laughs> just funny. When was the last time she saw her father? Uh, I talk to him all the time on the phone. But he, I he was I guess, much too busy to, to visit her? No, no, I guess I guess he, he would visit her, too, and give her things. So, you know, I guess they were close. Yeah. I tried to reach you at home, but I missed you. You must have already left. Yeah, well, I was here. Would you like Would you like a cookie? Chocolate flavor. Very nutritious. Eating again. No, thanks. But, um, is there some place we can go? What for? Beth, Beth your dad. dad. Uh, I'm afraid your father's had a heart attack. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> Let me have my dad. Take me a super save. I'm going to go get Rick. Fuck. Beth. Ow. Beth. Um, slow down. You had, you had surgery. I, I think you might, you might just want to... Move! 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 Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, I'm just going to... The running retard What's wrong? Scene. The panicking Beth's retard. dad is in the hospital. Massive heart attack. You okay, Beth? Yeah, time to start the bus. Let's no, go. I'm pretty <laughs> fucking far from okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're going slow, Rick. I'm going to report you. Beth. No! No, Olivia, everybody has a schedule. I've got a schedule. I'm going to go to Happy Timmy's boss today. That's why it is. Beth, can I call someone for you? Rick, you're cute, but your clothes are faded. And they're not very nice. But you look at my clothes. They're very bright. I give everybody lots of color. Oh, where is it? St. Matthews. Beth, listen to me. No. Your dad's in the hospital. Yeah. So I have to go to the hospital. I'll take you there. No, you're rude. There's other people on the bus, by the way. And he's just going to... You know, hey, we got to go to the hospital. That would happen in real life. Excuse me. <laughs> that would happen. Yeah. Fired. Where's your pass, fatso? <laughs> if I don't have it, then get off. <laughs> you would be fired for that. Of course. <laughs> you would... can't take the bus off the route. All right, now she's visiting her father in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. All right. Running through the hall. Is 
in a coma. He's unconscious. He won't even know you're here. Yes, he will, because he's knowing. I think it's important for Beth to see her dad. No! I want to see you! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Father's like finally in peace. Oh, I didn't want you He's to just see him. He's pretending he can't hear her. Oh, you. It's me, the sheriff. Dad, oh. can you hear me? Oh, Dad, <laughs> you're gonna take me to summer safe today. You had to wake up. <laughs> you had to wake up. <laughs> it's you, me. Now we make a good team. It's well, you, me. Well, you're not gonna die, is he? Okay. He's not so loud. Uh, but he's not gonna die, Maybe right? Maybe you'd like to come outside and sit down. Baby, you should do something. You just stand there. You're doing nothing. Beth, please calm down. It's time we let your dad rest. No, it's not time. I'm gonna stay here. It's not time. You have to cooperate. You are not my mother. You're not. <laughs> that is my daddy. <laughs> I was. I'd have thrown myself down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my uh, God! Oh, yeah, that she, was the uh, the heart tugging scene. That was the Rosie crying. Now she's got to move on and get along without her dad to help her. So and that's where her sister. I mean, there's in. a ton of of clips still to go here. Which yeah. ones you want to go to? No, let me see. They all stink. <laughs> Birthday party on the bus. How about the ones where bees sting her fat legs <laughs> while she rolls around confused in the yard? It was just such a, a horrible movie. Like, it's just her walking around pretty much doing what we've already heard. Yeah. This bad retard voice put in situations that garner her no sympathy whatsoever from the audience watching. She's just an annoying ugh. And, uh, well, uh, Beth wants to have a baby? All right. This well, might be w worth uh, playing. Yeah, yeah. She wanted to have a baby because she's uh, she's in love with a boyfriend, Jesse, the black guy, retarded guy, and they are having sex. Ugh. But they had a flashback scene where apparently the um, the sister there and the father were a little leery of this whole thing, so um, they uh, they had her tubes tied, <laughs> <laughs> and she couldn't have a baby, and she was uh, very disappointed with that. I guess. Smart parents, though. Absolutely. Smart father and uh, sister. You should have given her oh. a hist... Sorry, go. Oh, it's okay. I was just going to say they should have given her a hysterectomy. Uh, but I, I stopped myself short because I didn't have anything else. And I was actually hoping the clip would play. Cause I was like, <laughs> yeah. And then you stopped it. And I'm like, uh... Could have tagged I, it with a spade shovel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, Shana, your baby. Can I hold her? Oh, Beth, I don't know. It's so strange. Oh, yeah. oh, Give of the course you can the baby. Yeah. Are you sad? Ten years since I can't have a baby. That's what I'm thinking. Are you sorry now that you can't have a baby? I don't know. I don't know the baby. Maybe that baby would cry all the time. But I would love it. That's the most important thing. We thought we were doing the right thing. Now look... How much could you do with this, Jesse? Okay, hold it. Flashback. Flashback with his father asking, how much did you do with this, Jesse? Like they're trying to figure if she's sexually active. And if she is, they got to get her tubes tied. And uh, one of the highlights of the movies are uh, later on in this scene, I guess it's in the clip, as they're wheeling her gurney through the yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. She has a few comments to make. So. I, I also have to know, did the camera pan to her legs and the baby legs, and you couldn't tell which was which? <laughs> <laughs> Big, fat, dimpled knee. <laughs> the thing is, you could get pregnant if you're not careful. And everyone knows you're not very careful. I'm Four. sure this Jesse guy is very nice, but do you really want to have a baby? I must... Babies are not dolls. They're not puppies or kittens. Babies get sick. They need constant attention. How would you manage that, Beth? And you can't even hook your own bra. Do you really want to take that chance? Do you want to have a baby? Hook my own bra. <laughs> they make them without hook. <laughs> Can't hook her own bra because she's too fat. <laughs> Big pig has nothing to do with being retarded. Then they um, they show her uh, getting her tubes tied. Do we have that? Uh, I don't know. What don't track is so. that? 
I don't think. I don't think. You no. better have her, that I, I, gurney wheeling down that I, hallway. I, I don't know if we do. With her, uh, her comments. Let me try this. Mm. There's a conversation about getting her tubes tied. All right, let's hear that. I don't know if this is. I don't. I don't I'm glad with kids. That's why I say because it's true. That's right, Beth, and kids love you. Yes. I can't have any kids. Beth. That's true. They had my tubes tied up. I know. But that's okay, because then I don't have to worry when I'm with Jesse. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, do you like marshmallows? I love marshmallows. Me too. Uh, uh, we got you something in common. The kind with the sugar on the top? <laughs> I haven't had those. Yeah, I have them sometimes at holidays. They make them for holidays. Hi there, Jesse. Jesse! Jesse! That's a good man! Jesse! We know Beth, guys. so shut up. <laughs> what did he say? So shut we up. We know Beth, so shut up. <laughs> I don't know, Ann. I think that's it. Oh, they're wheeling her down the hospital hallway in, on the gurney all ready to get her tubes tied, and she starts moving around. She goes, ah, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I changed. And she's screaming, I changed my mind. Hey, keep wheeling her right through. Think your decision to make, stupid. That's right. I don't care what the birth certificate says, mind of a six year old. <laughs> and they clip her anyway. All right, then it's Beth and Rachel say goodbye, and then Beth back to riding the bus. So yeah. everything's all. Oh, it ends happy? All yeah, nice it ends the uh, right? yeah, same way. It, it ends actually with the clip that we played. Um, on Friday. Oh, okay. so Ew. We're done. Yeah. We're done with That's, this. There was nothing to this. This was a non movie. Aside from her walking around sounding like Pee Wee retarded, oh, two just, oh, imagine her and that black guy just going at it in bed. But you know what? You got to think it's pr probably pretty cool for them. It's just pure pleasure. There's nothing, nothing rattling around in that head to distract you. That genital mixture probably smells like a Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> two unwashed oh. fat dopes. Oh. oh, why don't you lick it? <laughs>